All right. To build up on that previous example where we de-essed, um, we're gonna we're gonna hone in on a breath that we found and explore the new feature of breath control. All yeah, yours. Great. So, like you said, when we were uh, de-essing, we noticed that there's a big breath between uh, two phrases. So let's listen to that. Uh, this is after our de-essing. So kind of natural, you gotta you know, take your breath, but it kind of takes us out of the mood uh, of the song. Breaths are an integral part of the emotion and the delivery and all that, but it's just a little too loud, too distracting. So we're just gonna attenuate that a bit. Uh, so we have the breath control here. Um, we could have used spectral repair, possibly, uh, like we did with the whistle and go in and isolate it, but this is really targeted on, on the, again, it's the heavy machine learning of, of what is the voice and what is noise and what's breath and all that. So Isotope really, with their machine learning here, they've really targeted breaths. So um, we have a gain or a target level. Uh, gain is just going to drop all the breaths by the dB amount we have here. So this might be a little too heavy-handed and not organic, right? It's going to flatten them all out. Uh, again, it's all part of the emotion. Um, so the target here, now this is going to drop, um, heavier breaths will be attenuated more, and, and, and the lighter breaths will pass through, uh, depending on, on where you set your target level here. So we'll just drop the target level a bit. We do want some attenuation, especially that big breath. And uh, the sensitivity is kind of like a threshold, right? So we'll just leave it at the default. And we're going to use the uh, output breath only um, uh, selector here to make sure, just like the clicks, that we're not um, removing any, any vocal tone or any voice. We, we shouldn't hear any voice at all in here. So let's do the preview with the output breath only. And let's see if these settings work. There's our breath. It doesn't, hey. yeah, it doesn't pick up any uh, any other vocals, uh, any other parts. That's it. And of course, um, we can in preview mode. You can go and, and play around with your settings, and and if you are hearing some voice, and tweak it. But here, it's it's pretty intuitive. It's really easy. So around here, we're good. We only hear the breath, so we're going to uncheck output breath only, and um, Command A will process the whole uh, the whole file. Process and whoop, that was quick. Uh, you saw that breath just drop, right? So uh, let's listen to that now. Much more natural. Yeah, for sure, natural. Yeah. It's, uh, as you mentioned, um, this can have a, a great uh, a great application for music, just as much as post prod. Yeah, sure. Any any time you have a voice, right? I mean, uh, it's not natural. People are usually at a distance from you. The microphone is right up against you and right in front of you. So it's picking up all these unnatural sounds we don't usually hear when we see people just talking to us from a normal, a normal distance. Mm. So uh, singing, uh, voice acting, you know, podcasting, you know, radio, just anything. Yeah, and you mentioned as well uh, how it's it's cool that you can uh, attenuate uh, the the stronger ones um, and and the the weaker bre breaths appropriately because they are, uh, as you said, an integral part to a performance. Right. Yeah. Emotion. Yeah. And that's the uh, that's the strength here of the target, uh, which which is uh, it will analyze and attenuate the stronger breaths and leave the, the the more subtle ones pass through. Or you can go just with gain. Let's say you want something really really dry, no breaths at all. You can just drop them all down. Mm. Super. That's the breath control feature. Really awesome. We have one left. Stay in touch.